Shalom! This is Sally and I welcome you to my channel. Well, in this vlog, I'm going to share with you guys one of the best way and the safest way to go to Jerusalem from Tel Aviv Airport. Right? You know, Jerusalem is everybody's dream. Everybody wants to go there someday. And I believe that you're watching this video, it is because you're thinking and you're planning to go to Jerusalem. Well, I went there like um, in 2018, that was in November. And so I was able to get this picture over here. Actually, this is the picture of the old city in Jerusalem. So I bought it, I framed it, and put it on the wall. This is like my trophy. Like, it's a proof that I have been there. All right, so it's actually one of the happiest experience of mine. All right, so without so much ado, I'm going to share with you like, how are you going to do that? So for me, when I traveled from Beijing to Tel Aviv, right, it took me like uh, 10, 11 hours. It's very, very far. It's that long. So I don't know where you're coming from. Uh, it could be farther, if it is farther from, uh, shall I say, Beijing. You see that? So it was, uh, but it, it, it's worth it. Anyway, for Filipinos, when you travel to Israel, you don't need a visa. So that's like the coolest part. We're blessed about that thing. Okay, so of course you have to book the ticket. And if possible, book uh, also a hotel that is very, very close to, shall I say, um, to the old city. So you don't have to take a taxi all the time. You can simply walk. See that? Okay, so once you are at the airport, actually, the airport is not um, in Tel Aviv itself. You see that? It's actually at the middle of Jerusalem and Tel Aviv. So if this is Tel Aviv, this is Jerusalem, it's somewhere over here. But it's also called as Tel Aviv Airport. The other name for that is <clears throat> Ben Gurion Airport. Ben Gurion is actually the name of the first uh, prime minister of, uh, shall I say, of Israel. See that? So when you get there, uh, when I got there, it's actually one of the best uh, ever because uh, I've seen different kinds of people, see, like hearing different kinds of languages, and it was my first time to hear Hebrew. Oh my goodness, I was like, wow, that's Hebrew, all right? And not only that, it was also like my first time to see this uh, famous, uh, uh, shall I say, shekels. Shekels, their money, see that? So I still have shekels with me. I forgot to actually, to, to shall I say, sell them after leaving um, Israel. So I still have a thousand here with me. Okay, but uh, yeah, if you would see here, you could see the face of uh, Mr. Ben Gurion, great man. All right, so there we go. So I was very, very happy. I was excited because I always uh, hear the word shekels from the Bible. See, that's what that was their money, and now I can't believe it. I'm holding shekels, and I still have shekels. But anyway, yeah, after leaving the airport, you know, I mean, outside the airport, you would see uh, some, uh, some taxis and some shiruts, uh other place. You know, if you're going to move a little bit farther, you could take the bus and you could also take the, what's this again, the train from there. It's really up to you guys, whether, what, whatever you want to, 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 to take. It's a lot cheaper if you could take the bus or even cheaper if you're going to take the train, something like that. But uh, what if, you know, it's great if you are with other people, like if it is a group, see that? Or it's, uh, it's uh, if, if you're traveling with family, you see that? But what if you're traveling alone, like what I did? You see that? It, uh, it's actually a very exciting thing feeling traveling there but uh, also it's going to be like a nerve-wracking thing like it makes you nervous why is that it is because you'd be asking yourself like what if what if what if you see that so you never really know it's like it's your first time to go to Jerusalem you don't know the streets you don't know where your hotel is so what could be the best way to get there so if it is taxi probably it's too expensive isn't it and duh, you're alone See, that's so how I asked people and a friend of mine said Shirut, so I looked for Shirut. Actually, Shirut is like, it looks like a van. And in this van, it can have at least 10 passengers. And each passenger is going to pay like six to seven shekels. Six to seven shekels. And then there, from there, I met a woman. She's Israeli. And, uh, you know, I was like, where are you going? And I said, I'm going to Jerusalem. And then she said, oh, Jerusalem. What did you say? 
Yerushalayim. Is that the right way to say Jerusalem in the Hebrew way? Yes, Yerushalayim. All right, say it again. I said it over and over and over again. Yerushalayim. You see that? And I was like, I'm going to Yerushalayim. So she was like smiling. And you know what? On her way to go to Jerusalem, it's just beautiful. The Israel is really is a developed country and then seeing Jerusalem for the first time I was like wow the buildings are awesome the streets you know what else uh, what is this said again uh, it is just you just be amazed and the coolest thing here is of course the driver of that uh, Sherut sent us one by one to our own hotels and then when we reached our own hotel, I had no idea about the street. She just asked, like, uh, what is the address of that hotel of yours? Well, on the, on the 21st uh, George Street, all right? King George Street, I should say. And then he said, oh, that's it. So I got off right in front of my hotel. And I was so happy. See that? So there's your hotel. You see, when I got off, I asked people again. I just want to make sure. And she said, that's it. That's the hotel. You see, so you don't have to worry about places there because, uh, you know, uh, most of the people there can speak English. See that? So you can ask anybody from there and they give you the answer. All right. So I went there, saw my hotel, left my things, and I actually staying in a place where there are other five people in the room. And most of them also travelers. And I just fixed all my things. And then after that, uh, went to the information area and then... Uh, had some brochures like this all right and I also got like a map of uh, the old city because that was like the first thing I'm not going to talk about the old city now so probably uh, the next video that I'm going to upload I'm going to shall I say share with you guys how to travel the old city what could be the best way to travel the old city especially when you're alone or we, even when you're with your family you see that even when you are with other people something like that yeah so this is it and uh yeah don't hesitate to like or shall i say or give a comment if there's like question if there are other things you want to ask me feel free to do that and uh, share it to some friends of yours those who are thinking to go to jerusalem and of course if you haven't subscribed yet do subscribe all right and uh yeah this is all for this time and uh i'll see you again next time Toda Rabah.